Hello gorgeous Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Capricorn. Be sure to remain open to your intuition throughout the reading. You may see a symbol or a sign on one of the cards, a message on one of the cards, an image on one of the cards that really stands out for you and has importance to you at this time. So be sure to check in with your intuition throughout the reading to pick up on those messages that are meant specific to you from Spirit. Guidance for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages intended for Capricorn, please come through. If you enjoy this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Guidance for Capricorn, please. Let's take a look at your first message, Capricorn. My creative power is the card. I recognize the creative power of my thoughts. I know that I can use them to build or to destroy. Today, I choose to use my thoughts to create a universe filled with joy and harmony. I will maintain a positive attitude. I have the power to create love and peace. Yes, I love this for you, Capricorn. You're in your creative power this week. So whether this is creative thinking, whether it's creativity in terms of artistic creativity or another way that you're going to be expressing your creative power, it's coming into full force this week. You can use this energy to really start getting momentum in an area of your life. I love the energy of you decide to choose your thoughts. You decide to redirect your energy away from negativity, whether it's coming from inside yourself, so that internal dialogue, or whether it's coming from an outside source, you're going to change the energy. You're going to be transforming the energy. So I love that. Let's take a look at your next card. We have the peacock energy, overcoming negativity. So that seems to be a theme here for the week ahead. You're going to be overcoming negativity, divine beauty. You're seeing the beauty in all things, great and small. And you are worthy, so you're gaining back some self-confidence that may have been eroded in some way. The affirmation is, I see the divine beauty within me and share it freely for the greatest good. So you might may feel that this is something that resonates for you, this affirmation. And if that's true, then you can use that daily throughout the week. Your spirit guides are bringing you a message of love, faith, and protection. Now is a fertile time to pray and receive loving, empowering, effective responses from the universe. Trust the divine completely. Allow it to draw out the depths of your beauty, grace, and sacred purpose. Rise above petty agendas and refuse to engage in ego-driven interactions. Instead, affirm and express yourself from the heart. You can develop spiritual vision, inner sight, psychic awareness, and channel divine energies for guidance and healing. You will overcome any effects of poisonous behavior from your past through spiritual intervention and grace. Your soul is gifted with being able to create resplendent beauty in this world. I love this message for you, Capricorn. It's a beautiful message. I'm really feeling the message up here is important for someone. Um, the message here of um, now it's a fertile time for you to pray and receive um, a, a message or a blessing or a response from the universe. I feel that that's going to be something that really will resonate for one of you. I feel this is something that's going to come through in reality for one of you. So I just love this energy. Um, it feels very protective. It feels like it's coming from a higher source. This message is going to be allowing you to understand a situation a lot better. 
You're going to rise above petty agendas, which is great because I'm seeing that there are some people around you that may be holding on to some drama and you're just not going to engage yourself with this. You're letting go of that drama. You have the ability this week to move forward. You're going to be moving forward in some way. Get ready for a positive change. Um, so yes, if you know, um, you will know what this means if spirit is speaking to you here through this card. I'm seeing the the polar bear energy here and the and the snowflake energy. So you've come from an icy place. You've come from a place that's cold, distant, non-emotional, um, difficult, challenging. Okay. So you've come from that place and now you're starting to move forward. You're looking ahead to a different perspective, um, different, um, to a different place. You're going to have a different perspective on things very soon from what I can see. A blessing for your home. So this may be because you're moving into a new home or your environment that you are living in is going to become more cohesive. It's going to be more loving. It's going to be better in some way. The angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home. They are about to bestow a blessing of love on your home and its occupants. So this is very powerful. Your home environment is going to be uplifted in some kind of way, powerful, positive way this week. Beautiful energy, blessings for your home environment, Capricorn. I love it. The Six of Cups energy is a link to the past. So you have a link to someone in your past that might be reaching out to you, contacting you. You may be contacted out of the blue. You may bump into them um, without expecting to. Um, there is something like that happening here. I'm also seeing that there is a friendship that's being forged. I'm seeing a friendship in the workplace for some of you that's being that's new and that you can trust this person. I am seeing that there is a nostalgic energy here with the Six of Cups. So it's important not to get lost in the past and to remain in the present moment as much as you can. The Five of Pentacles is worry or tumultuous turmoil around finances or material things. The things that give you foundation in this life, finances, housing, um, accommodation may be a bit rocky. Maybe that's why there's a blessing for your home on the horizon. If it's to do with work or finances, there is going to be a moving forward to positive change. If it's to do with a relationship, with it, which it may be because of the Six of Cups above it, I can see that you're going to be moving past this energy of isolation, loneliness, or... Um, it being pushed out of something, out of a, a group, a relationship, um, something like this. You're being isolated, pushed out of something, out of information. Perhaps you're always on the outs in a group, uh, maybe in the workplace. There is a sense here of you recognizing what is happening here and you moving forward in the best way with spiritual protection around you, the best way forward for you. The Nine of Cups is the wish card of the deck. So it looks like a wish is going to come true. Something you've been wanting to change is going to manifest in your life this week. Maybe a larger thing for some of you and for others, this will be a smaller thing. But it's going to be significant no matter what it is. There is an energy here of contentment and satisfaction. So I feel that relationship-wise, there's going to be um, that energy around you coming in this week or sometime soon, whether that's romantic, a uh, relationship or a friendship or maybe a family member. But I feel that there's cohesiveness here or I feel there's healing, cohesiveness and healing in this dynamic. The Four of Cups energy. This means that there's dissatisfaction that is surrounding your emotions in some way. So a situation is not satisfactory to you. And you're looking at other ways to, um, I feel, bring in some other elements. Because being in the same position, not moving, um, kind of treading water energy, um, waiting for someone is not going to work here. So I feel that you're going to be making 
some choices, some changes. You'll be putting some plans into action and you'll be moving forward. Um, as this card says here, you're not going to be sitting in an unsatisfactory situation for much longer from what I can see. And the full energy confirms that because the full is about new beginnings and it's about freedom, freedom from boredom, freedom from an unsatisfactory emotional situation, freedom from your past, healing, um, freedom from financial burdens or responsibilities or material upheavals in your life. So the full is something very fresh, very new. You're at zero point once again, a new beginning. A new phase in your life is about to begin. The Fool is a very creative power as well, creative, very creative energy. So it does tie into this creative power, which is interesting to note. Let's take a look at a blessing card for you, Capricorn, for the week ahead. This card here, let's take a look at what it says. A sea of blessings. The universe is a projection from within you and you are a projection of the universe. You are a vast space and yet you are spaceless. You are a divine ocean of love, a sea of blessings. You are the wind of change that flows through life. There is a change coming and it's related to something that you feel emotional about. That's the message I'm receiving here for someone. Yes, something that you're feeling emotional about or you have an emotional connection to someone or a situation in your life. It, there is going to be a wind of change that blows through here. And it might be that recently or you will see very soon that things will change in a drastic way, a big way with the full, um, meaning going back to the beginning, um, going back to zero point, learning through experiences once again, starting afresh, new horizons, taking a risk and breaking free. Let's take a look at three Lenormand cards for you Capricorn for the week ahead. We have the moon, so there may be a Pisces around you, significant in some way in your life. The moon recognizes that there is a cycle to things, and so spirit wants you to know that about an area of your life. There is a cycle to this, and you are going to be moving on from this cycle soon, and I'm seeing that with the full energy. We have the heart. This can be romantic love that is on your mind or that comes into play this week in a significant way. Um, a cycle to do with love, romance, or something that you are passionate about. Also, the moon can represent psychic intuitions about this passion, whatever it is. Um, hobby, interest, person, place, whatever it is, there is a psychic insight that you're going to be receiving. Um, the flowers is a gift, a compliment, a kind word, affection coming your way. Um, gratitude, a reward of some kind. This is a very powerful positive, these three cards, positive a sign that things are going to go positively in love or in a passion that you have. Um, whether that's work related or something else, something you're passionate about is going to work out well and you're going to be rewarded for it as well. There's going to be beauty at the end of this or through this process. So it looks like there's going to be a reward, beauty, or something very positive here. Um, something filled with pleasure at the end of the day when it comes to something to do with your heart, emotions, something you're attached to and passionate about. So really beautiful messages coming through there from Spirit. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and I will talk to you all again soon. I hope you have a great week.